Hi everybody, I'm Joey. Today we'll be finishing this table and a small coffee table. Um, first, I'll show you some small bit of footage of the duplicator turning these big uh, legs here. So, have a look. So first the machine just turned the uh, blank round. You can see my template on the right hand side of the screen. Um, there's a, a pneumatic pin that is following that and um, it looks like it would be a fun tool to have. And otherwise, we'll get on with how we got uh, to the finished point here. Um, table's not due to be delivered actually for about another week, so I thought I'd just show you the, the finished product here in the workshop rather than wait another week to see it in, the, in its new um, dining room. So um, maybe I'll put a picture on my Instagram when I get that to that point. Otherwise, Hopefully uh, you enjoy the video. So this is the base moulding for the coffee table. I just um, made up a quick design and, and traced it onto my blanks. And these are my um, planes from HT Gordon, HNT Gordon in Australia and they are just really awesome. Um, the only problem is I've got to figure out how to sharpen them now. And the first thing I do after I finish my moulding is to make a mistake. Ah, just bug it up. That.
So after that, bugger up. First cut on a Monday morning. I am 550 long and I need 600. So this piece of molding is rubbish and uh, can't do anything about that. So luckily I've got one piece of beach left which I'll have to mill up another mill up another piece and get the molding planes back out. Such is life. So instead of putting tanks and grooves on all of the panels like I did on the tabletops, I've decided just to use dry fitted dominoes. Um, and it seemed to work really well in the end. So given the angles I've got to deal with with my um, dominoes, I'm uh, <laughs> doubtful at best that this is actually going to go together, but I'm going to give it a go. And it ended up going together, just. Uh, so I'll keep that in mind for the future. in the base of these corner uh, pillars had to be offset because of the corner you can see there the center would have hit the internal corner and not been actually into any meat so it was um, just a little bit different than usual
I'm just leaving the top um, dry for now so I can take it off and work on it separately and then I'll glue it on uh, once the top's finished. And I'm just using a water-based gap filler, just regular old, no more gaps. And um, I just use a little bit of water on my finger to smooth it out a little bit easier. And um, because the base is all being painted, that's why I'm not too worried about the white colour. My new assistant, Nick, got on to getting the paint on. So the client had sent me a colour sample and the stain was pretty much bang on what the colour sample was and so I'm using a water-based stain and polyurethane mixed and I like to use that because it gives me a bit more time to spread out the colour and it's not such a rush to um, avoid you know, really bad patching patching colours and saying that it looks a bit patchy on, on the camera but in, in real life most of that you can't really see so bear that in mind Then a pretty good sand down with 400 grit. I used an oil based polyurethane and I put two pretty heavy coats on and then a third coat which was really thinned down quite a lot just to give a nicer finish and obviously I was sanding between those coats as well to get a final smooth finish uh, you're just using some automotive buffing cream which uh, just takes any little lumps and bumps that of dust that may have settled in, in the in the clear coat and um, just wipe it off with a, a, a rag and it gets a really nice finish So this is Sika MS sealant, it's um, UV, UV resistant and it's actually paintable. It doesn't feel like silicon at all, it feels more like a, a regular gap filler, but it is uh, waterproof and rubberized. And um, I think that's, well, I think it's going to be the best um, sealant for the job. Just make sure that if you ever try try this, make sure you take your masking tape off while the sealant is still wet. Um, otherwise, it's all going to dry together, and that's going to be a problem.